Hey everyone, my name is Andrea Hutchison and you are catching the replay right now. I would like for you to drop in how many months or how many years you have been with paparazzi. We want to know that. And, and today we're going to be going live and we're going to talk about what the Power Hour is and how it has changed our business since we have started this. Uh, so I'm super excited to have you here. Hello guys, welcome, welcome. I do have a guest speaker today because i want you to hear her testimonial and it's only been a week and a half maybe since she has been doing this with us she's not inside of our team she is a paparazzi elite sister so uh we love her and we are so thankful that she can take the advice that we have so hello we had some technical difficulties joining in so that's why we were late we were on time Thinking internet has really messed up everything. So hello, welcome. If you are here, please let us know how long you have been in the business. Has it been, how many months has it been since you joined paparazzi? I wanna see that. I see Ms. Dottie, she is a fashionista in the house. If you are part of Team United Fashionista, whether it is, you know, Team Grateful, Team Jure, Team Fly Girl, you know, all of the team fear fashionista we got so many teams inside of our team make sure that you hashtag fashionista below so that i see you hello welcome you guys welcome welcome hope hopefully you guys can see us really well i see yvonne she has been with paparazzi for a year and four months welcome you guys i see you somebody says erica has been in the business for seven years uh seven years with paparazzi and the comments are flying flying and flying really fast so i'm trying to catch some i see julie she has been in the business for a year and 10 months hey miss shelly hello welcome oh my goodness the comments are coming out really fast i see three and a half years two years i see two months dawn welcome so i'm gonna start with saying i have been in the business for eight years i'm a jet setter with paparazzi my team is a jet setter team i am uh a paparazzi consultant i am a diamond status actually today i believe we hit live the party platinum and so i'm very proud of that because of my customers have been able to do that and that's just organically selling and if you see my journey i was bronze one year the next month next year i was silver the next year i was gold the next following year i was platinum and then diamond and now hopefully this coming year we're going to be black diamonds so i'm very thankful for that so thank you guys so much for being here make sure that you share this video with your team members because i truly believe this is going to help your business and it's nothing out of the ordinary but it has changed so many lives inside of our team members okay so just to give you a background eight years ago paparazzi did not have any resources at all we were buying jewelry in box of five we had to pay shipping like ten dollars shipping there was not free shipping we had to buy a starter kits that were three hundred dollars uh and up like there were so many difficult times we didn't even have a website back then okay so resources were very limited we were just learning as we went we basically saw outside of facebook nobody was on facebook and i believe whenever i started i started utilizing facebook in 2013 because i was working at a library and you know i was in the internet and i was like well i guess i could use facebook to promote my business because i'm always working you know and i was having three jobs and i'm like i can't get out that much and do that many parties even though i still did them um so back in the day like there was no resources there was not facebook live like many of you have now so paparazzi has grown so much since then with that i want to come to tell you that right now today as in you know october the 27th of 2020 you have all the resources that you need you are not missing anything okay you are not missing anything you can right now go on youtube and type whatever you want to find out about paparazzi and you will find a video on it you can go into your team members groups and then just look for the information that's out there. You can go to Let's Players together and you can find the information that's out there. There is nothing that you are not able to see. There's no.
before. How many of you want hostesses? How many of you, can you guys hear me okay? How many of you want more than you can even imagine, right? So that's what the power hour is going to do for you. Oh no, see frozen, frozen. I see frozen. Okay, where did I, where did you guys hear me? <laughs> okay, I'm back. So where, where did I stop? Tell me in the comments, where did I stop? But how many of you are wanting more viewers, right? How many of you are wanting more uh, team members? How many of you are wanting more hostesses? Uh, let me know if you can see me in the comments. Me, I see Emeka. Thank you, Emeka. At least you're listening. Yes, more, more, more. We want more, right? Okay, we're back. We are back. Don't, you know, we're having internet issues, but just bear with us because this is a very hot topic and I really wanted to share it with you. About a month ago, uh, one of my team members, Alejandra, the one that you heard yesterday speak, right? She shared with me um, something that we, we follow different coaches and she shared with me what the power hour is. And I knew what the power hour was, but I did not introduce it to my team um, because I was just trying to work with my systems and I was trying to do everything that I could, you know, to be able to manage my life. And so when she came over to my house uh, last month, two months ago, we said, okay, we're going to team up together. We're going to keep each other accountable and we're going to do the power hour together at 9 a.m. So we keep each other accountable, 9 a.m. And so we did it for a whole entire month. After we became accountable to each other and we did not miss a session, even though my husband was in the hospital, we were still working together and she was on it. We, I was on it that we introduced it to our top leaders. So we introduced it to our elites and we introduced it to our producers and above, producers and premier producers. We gathered together and I said, here's the thing, we got to meet, uh, we got to meet together for power hour. So for a whole month, almost, we're about to end the month. We started October 1st. They have been doing power hour every single day, Monday through Friday. And they have seen their business increase so much. Like they are, they are booked with hostesses. They have recruits. They have people that are buying from them. They are getting more viewers. They are getting more customers all because we have been doing the power hour. And I'm going to try to bring somebody that is not on my team to tell you, you know, a little bit more about what the power hour is. I mean, just want her to share her testimony on how it has affected her. Why? Because power hour, we don't come together on a Zoom to train. We already have the training that we need. I don't need to train you anymore on anything. The only thing that we really need to work on is being intentional and on our mindset. Our mind is what's limiting us from becoming what God wants us to be. That's the only limit that you have. You don't have any other limits. You know, money is not a limit because you can work towards it. Okay, I was one of those that did not have the money, but I invested my I invested my three hundred dollars with paparazzi. I did not touch any penny out of that, and I just kept reinvesting what I sold, and I just kept reselling and reselling and investing and investing. So there is no excuse for you not to be able to make this business work, but you have to be able to commit. You need to commit to this. So if you're wanting to do a power hour, I encourage you to introduce this to your leader, your upline. I know I have introduced it to a few of the elite leaders, but you know, at the end of the day, it is up to you if you're going to do it. And, and you know, yes, you can do a power hour by yourself, but nobody's keeping you accountable. Nobody's saying, oh, you missed that, or you're scrolling on the phone, or you're doing this. No, you can't do that. You know, when you have somebody there that's keeping you accountable, you cannot cheat and you cannot lie. I'm not saying that you're going to do that, but that's what I would do. Like if nobody knows that I'm doing the power hour, I'm just going to go take a nap. I'm not going to get up early to do my power hour, or I'm just going to go do something else and not nobody's going to know that I did not do my power hour. Oh yeah, yeah, I did the power hour. Oh yeah, it's good. You know, but when you have an accountability partner is so, so important. So when we come into power hour and I'm going to give you a file at the end of this uh, live video on what power hour is, is four things. We focus on connecting with people, prospecting, not just for the business, but for our, you know, to book parties. Uh, and also we do uh, follow ups and we do referrals. So we focus on those four things. Um, 
to make power hour work we have a timer so when we have the timer once the timer goes up we do not do we move on to the next thing we let we leave our list outside we don't worry about anything else we just finish and we go move into the uh, next thing and then we feel productive once we once we finish the power hour so i'll go into more details but i'm going to bring erica home here erica is a I'm gonna let Eric introduce. She's one of my friends with paparazzi. We are not on the same team, okay? So pray the connection stays good. Lord, please help us. Yes. So here we go, Erica. Tell us how has Power Hours changed your business in this one week and a half? And it, it's not even been that. It's been just a week. We started last Thursday. Last Thursday was when you let us come in and take a look at what you were doing. And I have notes. Okay. Yeah. Good. <laughs> um. Oh my gosh, I am seeing new people. So I wrote something down while you were talking. Nothing comes free in paparazzi other than your hostess rewards. You have to earn your viewers. Yep. And we earn our viewers with the action that we put in. And the action that we put in is being social on social media. And Power Hour for me in the last four or five days has made me social on social media. I'm showing up. I am seeing different people. I, I was seeing the same seven people on my news feed and I was really tired of seeing those people. I love them, but I wanted to see other people. And now I'm seeing other people. Now I'm seeing people who used to shop with me, but aren't shopping, haven't been. Now they can find me. All of a sudden I'm making more sales and I message those new, those comeback customers like, okay, what happened? What's going on? What's going on? And they're like, well, I see your stuff again. I see your stuff again because I am interacting with them and I am connecting with them and I'm following up with them and I am making and remaking new, real, genuine connections, not yeah. just like, Hey, buy my stuff. Like, Hey friend, how's your life? How's your mom? How's your sister? How's your dog? We're, we're talking about real life stuff. And in just these one hours, I'm getting so much done because of what you said, the accountability. Mm -hmm. I know Andrea's watching me. I know she is. I know Andrea's watching me. So I can't be over here just like scrolling on Facebook. No, I can't. Like I have to actually do work because she's watching me. <laughs> <laughs> I know she's going to, and if I, I know her well enough that I know you well enough that if I was screwing around, you'd be like, Erica, what are you doing? You oh, you know me. me. You would say it to me, Eric. What you doing over there? Right? You would call me on my stuff. And and yeah, I need that level of accountability because the best thing about paparazzi is where you can work from home. The worst thing about paparazzi is that we can work from home. There's no boss here telling me what to do but me and having a group accountability to know where I just show up. I got my to-do list. I got my phone. I do my work. It makes me focus. And... I don't always feel well. I get, I have very sick days, fight some illnesses. And we've talked about this. When I show up for that one hour, I'm in my pajamas. I haven't brushed my hair. I brushed my teeth and that's about as far as we go. And I can sit and do this work without having to look the part because I'm all behind the, the camera on my phone, sending voice messages and whatnot. And if I'm having a sick day, I do that hour. And I tell myself, good job. Yes. And I go on. And I go on back to bed if I need to. Yep. And, and you're done. You, you're and done, done until the next day. Until the, yeah. And if it doesn't get done. Then tomorrow. Done. Tomorrow. We pick it up again tomorrow with yeah. the next people. And so in one week, I wrote down. In one week, my results are more viewers on my lives, which we all beg for more viewers. This is how you get them. I now have referrals. I've gotten five referrals in five days. I have more sales. Hallelujah. I am seeing different people on this stupid Facebook algorithm. And I have happier friends and customers making a real heart-to-heart -heart connection again. Yes. And that's something that touches my heart, Erica, because we as consultants don't take the time just like many other network marketers to follow up with people or to even check on them you know, when they haven't come back to our shows, like, do you even know why they stop watching you? Like, you don't care because you're just focused on you and how many sales you're going to make and how many people are watching you right now. 
And you don't know how many lives we are changing just by sending a voice message. And maybe somebody here is watching right now. Maybe it's a paparazzi consultant because I've sent messages to paparazzi consultants, just letting them know that they're awesome. And I hope you're doing great. And I'm just checking on you just because I want to check on you. Yeah. You know, I'm being intentional, which is what many in any industry are missing. They are not intentional. They're inconsistent. Yes, you can be consistent on your live videos, but what does it matter if you're not checking on your customers? And you know, if you're not like, being genuine. Well, and treating them like people and not dollar signs. Yes, exactly. You know, when was the last time that you messaged someone and, you know, just message them? Hey, how was your trip? I saw that you went somewhere. How did it go? Right. Right. Hello, how was your birthday? You know, or hey, when was the last time your son did your son get better? I saw that he was sick. You know, when when is the last time that you check on those people that really matter to you? And not only that, many of you, because we have taught you that you need to add friends on Facebook every single day. How many friends do you have that you haven't even talked or how many of them you have messaged, but they never responded? Why do you even still have them as friends if they never responded? You know, I've been deleting so many people, even people I went back to my friends list because I'm looking for referrals. And the people that I'm more comfortable with are people that were my friends first on Facebook, which were like 20 people, um, <laughs> you know, and I'm going to my friends list and I started from oldest to newest. And then I can see when I started adding new people on my friends list and I'm like, I don't know. I, you know, and then I'm sending them a message. I'm like, hey, it's been a long time. How you been? <laughs> you know, it's kind of embarrassing, but I'm like, whatever. If they're going to answer, they're going to answer. And if they do, I'm going to make a new relationship with them. Right. And you guys, I'm seeing people comment on my, on my profile, different people that I haven't seen in years. And then I'm like, oh, they're watching, you know? And, and, I can, and you can check your Facebook stories. Mm-hmm. And I'm seeing a totally more different people who are actually looking at my things now. It's incredible in just a few days. But the trick is to, to continue it. Yeah. How many people are going to stop? You know, once they, you know, yeah. How many people we had, I will tell you the statistics of our team. We open it up to our whole entire team. And, you know, there's some people that work with me. There's some people that don't. But those that do work with me, they join. We had about close to 100 people join our power hour. We are past that week. And now we had, I think, 30 to 40 people today. Okay. So people are going to decrease because this is work. We don't chat. We don't nope. talk. We're not like, girl, how's your been your day? Carol, hey, girl, do you have this piece? No, we don't talk. We work. And then at the end of our power hour, we do you know, get together and we share some wins that we have had during the day or during the week. So I'm like, I me, mean, I'm booked until January. I have parties until January, which is insane because right. I have never been booked that far. You know, I've always been booked like a month and then, you know, I will be like having to, you Scramble. know, I don't even care. Yeah. yeah. And so, but now I'm having new customers. I'm having people that are reviewing my product, people that don't know. I gotten two recruits because of that, because I have follow up with people. So we're going to pull up uh, anything you want to share, Erica? I caught you off like so quickly. Okay. I do have something I want to share and I want to talk to the leaders out there. Yes, please From do. Any level, all level. I hear every day, I can't find the time to work my business because I'm working my team. And I understand that. And I love working with my team. I love it. I love it. brings me joy. It lights my fire. And these one hours are for Erica to work her business. Mm -hmm. It is all about the individual consultant. And so leader, if you are struggling to find that balance, this is where you find it. You sit down and you do these 15 minute increments where it's just you and your business and you don't answer team messages and you don't answer team phone calls and you don't check your team group. You just do your business. And this is where I see, even when I hit elite, a lot of us, as we hit elite, we lose that balance. We, we focus more on the team than on yeah. our own business. This bring, this is already bringing me back to my own business where my sales are going up and I'm balancing again. I yes. don't have, I'm not as stressed going, when am I going to find time to do this? I've made and dedicated and carved out and I protect the time. Yes. Nothing happens at 9 a.m. Eastern time, period. And if it does, well, it's going to wait till 10 a.m. 
Sorry, <laughs> you're pleading. They're just going to wait till 10. Okay, okay. <laughs> and many of you may say, oh, that's because you guys work paparazzi full time. Well, I will tell you the last week I had maybe three to four uh, meetings with leaders that work full time. And, you know, I was like, let's create your schedule. Let's do your schedule. And I see, yeah, you like you barely have any time to work your paparazzi business, but we can squeeze an hour in there. Exactly. We can squeeze an hour in there, whether it's a midnight that you that's when you feel like doing it because you go to bed at two, three in the morning. I don't know, <laughs> you know, or whether it is at 7 p.m. It doesn't matter. You're going to work one hour for your business. And that that's what power hour is. So I'm going to let Eric, I'm going to pull up the document that I wanted to share with you guys, but I'm going to let Erica take you over um, that document because she is the one that had to kind of understand what the power hour was. So, <laughs> okay. You know, Cause you were like, Oh my goodness. Like, you know, We're like ready. what? <laughs> yes. Let me pull um, the document in here, but we're going to take some questions as well. Uh, for you guys and let me see if I can pull this up dun, dun, dun. I don't want my screen I need my document hello okay we may not pull well maybe Erica back me up here anything else you want to say while I look up for the document Sure, I'm sure I can make up something. So Andrea and I <laughs> love to train. You find the document. I got this book. Andrea okay. and I love to train. It is a joy for us. And I'm I'm betting she's found this to be true, but I definitely have in that I love to train so much. I forget sometimes that I have to push the do it. Mm -hmm. I can, I would train you all day long and mm -hmm. you would just spend all day like absorbing and taking notes until your hand falls off, but nothing matters until you actually act on it. Yes. And that is the magic of this power hour. This is taking all that training that you've ever had from anybody under the sun and actually giving you a focused amount of time to sit your butt in your chair and take the action, which is the missing step. I'm so glad you learn. I'm, I want you to keep learning. Please keep learning. As we come up with new crazy stuff, we'll share it all with you. But if all you do is just absorb it and never turn it back around and use it, it's, it's a waste. And we don't want you to waste. We want you to be able to do this really, really well. Uh-oh. Did we freeze again? Uh-oh. Uh oh, did we freeze? Oh no. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Mayday. Mayday. Oh, Andrea. We're going to be okay. Okay. Tonight. We're going to be okay. We're going to be okay, hopefully. All right, I think we got this. All right, I'm going to pull you up. Okay. Can you hear me? I can. Getting better. It's getting better. Oh, where the... <laughs> oh, Lord, help us. <laughs> Anybody who has tech trouble, look, so do we. Don't worry about it. Just keep on keeping on. Smile through it. Love the jewelry we wear and something. It's okay if your technology breaks like ours does. <laughs> All right, I'm going to pull up the document and I'm going to put you over, okay? And I'm going to go down. Okay. <laughs> okay, so I think there we are. We're still here. Yeah, so I'm not going to do this justice. I'll do as well as I can. I encourage you to read this. So the power hour is 60 minutes broken into four 15 minute segments, right? Is that the right math? I think that's the right math. The uh, first one, keep smiling, keep shining. That's right, Tina, sell them. Uh, the first one is about connecting with people. And like we've said already today, making those true heart to heart connections is what we're really all about. Trent Kirby has said it so many times. I'm sure he's going to get a tattoo of it. If he gets tattoos, I don't know. Uh, we are an army of hope. 
and we can share that hope by just connecting with people. Andrea has given us several options to connect here with birthdays, people who've liked and commented on your posts, sending friend requests, removing old friend requests, connecting with those new friends and using the green light system. Um, this is that connection. If you see someone on on your messenger app and you see that they're there, just send them a message and say, Hey, happy Tuesday. I hope your Tuesday behaves itself today. Or, Hey, how was your birthday last week? Or, Oh my gosh, I saw your gender reveal. You're having a little boy. How are you feeling? How's the pregnancy going? Like just that, that, that real genuine connection. You're not after anything. You're not after a sale. You are just being a person. You are acting like you would want them to act to you. If you just made a gender reveal announcement, would you want someone in your inbox being like, Oh my gosh, congratulations. wouldn't you want someone doing that to you? It's the same thing. The magic, the magic that I found is in the voice message. Those voice messages, my friend, they will change your whole life because people can hear you. Have you ever read a text from your husband or your significant other in the wrong way? I can't be the only one here. Like I have read some stuff that he has sent and he didn't mean it that way, but I took it that way because I was gosh okay but when i sent you a little voice message telling you how awesome you can't misinterpret that and so these voice messages are going to let you really pour out your excitement your enthusiasm etc so totally cheat use the voice message there uh segment number two is prospecting this is about getting parties and potential consultants. It's asking those questions. Hey, have you ever thought about doing what I do here? And it's an opportunity to maybe get in front of people who've never heard about paparazzi. Hey, I saw you liked my post yesterday with my, my Z collection pieces. Have you ever tried paparazzi before? Because don't believe what you hear on Facebook. Paparazzi is not saturated. I go to the grocery store every day with my little bling bag and I give away jewelry and people are like, what is this? It's paparazzi. What is paparazzi? There are people who don't know what paparazzi is and I guarantee some of them are your Facebook friends. And so this is your chance to get your stuff in front of people who have never, 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 never heard of what we do here in paparazzi. And so prospecting is really good to get you new customers, to get you potentials and to get you party hostesses. So that 15 minutes, how many messages can you send out, right? Just, just get them done. Just get them done. Follow up. 15 minute follow up is really my favorite time because it's really that time to check with my customers. And if you bought from me in the last week, I'm going to send you a message and say, Hey, did your package arrive? Number one, because Lord help us with the post office right now and checking. Did they like everything? Was anything broken? Did you, did it match that bracelet that you saw? Because a lot of times, you know, you remember what who bought what? And they say, oh, I need that necklace because it matches that bracelet. And you remember that kind of stuff. I know you do. So you can say, oh my goodness, Mary, did that bracelet really match? Did it really work for you? Like that is what we mean when we say follow up in showing that you care about them and you remember what they said. Now, if you can't remember everything, don't worry. Don't stress. You don't have to do it all, but remember as much as you can. And some people you remember for sure. And if they're a new customer, get in that inbox, my friend. Get in that inbox. Hey, Mary, thank you so much for purchasing. I checked the tracking today. Your package should arrive or should have arrived yesterday or something like that. I wanted to check, see if you got it open, see if it came okay. And just customer service. That is my favorite. That is what I love to do right there. And so this 15 minutes, honey, you can check with six or eight customers every day. And I forgot to tell you the, the hard part of this. So you're going to be sending 437 messages in an hour. Um, you can't answer any of them. You just have to get them out. You just have to send them out. All you're doing here is you're doing your part, which is send them out. You can follow up throughout the day. You can send, you can do replying throughout the day and this, that, or the other. But right through this hour, you're just sending out. You're just pushing out conversations. Okay. Um, did I forget anything? You can follow up with hostesses. This is a great time to follow up with old hostesses. Wink, wink. If they haven't hosted a party for you in the last 90 days, how has your inventory changed in 90 days? A lot. I hope, I hope your inventory has changed a lot in 90 days. So you can be in their inbox going, Hey, so I, it's been about 90 days or so since our party, I, I have whole new inventory now. I wonder if you'd like to have another party. It's really that easy. That is the easiest question you're ever going to ask because past hostesses, they know they're going to say yes because free jewelry, it talks, right? And then the, the last 15 is referrals. 
And for some, this is going to be the hardest part. And for some, it's going to be the easiest part. It is literally asking people to tell about your product. How many of us go on Amazon and read the reviews? I read every last one of them. There's 400 reviews. I'm going to read all 400 of them because I want to know what I'm buying. And I want to know what other real people who have real people problems like I do say about this. And so these referrals, they can be as simple as asking if, Someone will post a picture wearing their, their selfie with their paparazzi on Facebook and tagging you in it and saying that you enjoy your paparazzi pieces. Or so it, it can be that simple or it can be as grandiose as going to your business page and leaving a professional five-star review. It can be anything in that, in that spectrum. Whatever you're most comfortable with in that spectrum, you can do anything and all of it in the middle there. Um, this is also a good opportunity, and I've done this this week, for those people who've never tried paparazzi, can I send you a couple of pieces and get your honest feedback and opinion on social media? Pretty simple review right there, right? And give them, give, ask, and this is your opportunity to learn their style and see what they like and send them pieces that are going to be right up their alley that they're just going to love, right? And so these referrals are actually really, really easy really easy to do. Andrea's given us so many scripts right here. You can give them uh, rewards. You can give them credit. You can send them the free pieces to try out. You can do all of these things. And you can ask people. Uh, we've seen it on Facebook. Hey, who will let me post a post about my business on their, their Facebook page? Well, don't just post it there and ask. Get in someone's inbox and say, hey, can I? Right? Hey, can I? Can I post on your page or can I send you a post to post on your page or can you post a picture of your jewelry on the, this is what referrals are. So don't overthink referrals, but understand how powerful they are because that one person who has a thousand Facebook friends, how many people are going to see that post today and be like, wait a minute, that is gorgeous. I need one. Mm, I need one of those, right? We all use selfies anyway. So why not let someone else help us use the selfies? Did I forget anything in referrals? I don't think so. Is there any more to this? Is there any more to this? Quotes to remember, those sorts of things. Um, voice messages are life. There is a, Tiffany Peterson. She was at one of my first conventions. She said something along the lines. I'm going to butcher this, so don't tell Tiffany that I just screwed it up. But the um, your power comes from your network. Your money comes from your network. Your success comes from your network. And you have to nourish your network. You have to love on your network. You have to pour on your network. You have to give to your network. We are called network marketing. Marketers, that's right. That's good English right there. And if we neglect our network, well, what's going to happen? We're going to be crying that we have no viewers, right? We're going to be sobbing that we're not making any sales. We have to nourish our network. And I want to throw in this caveat. I have had success in a week, but I've been doing this for a long time. So I have a very large network. If you are new here, if you are new in 2020, you may not have the same level of success that I've had in a week. It may take you a month. It may take you a little longer than a month. It may take you some time to see this level of success. Understand that you're on chapter one and I'm on chapter 137 over here. And know that there's that difference in that, okay? Know that there is that difference in that. And so if you decide that you're going to do this and you're going to bring, you're a director and you're going to bring your three along with you to do this, don't give up no matter how long success takes. This takes dedication. This takes consistency. This takes time. This takes doing it every day, five days a week. You can do it on the weekends if you want to, but at least five days a week and just know that success is guaranteed, but the time we don't get to know. And so don't give up if it takes some time. Okay. Don't give up if that takes that time. Um, and I think that's it. Did I leave anything out? I think that's it. You are awesome. Thank you so much, Erica. So hopefully you guys will get together with some team members. You will get together with your leaders. Some will get your accountability partner and then you will partner up within just to do one hour. And yes, 
this is something that you might have already done and it's like nothing new under the sun, right? But at the end of the day, you know, I have done my daily method of operation. I have done my DMOs. I have done all of that. But, you know, they will tell me just do five to 10 people with the power hour, those 15 minutes without me responding to people. I can reach out to hundreds of people in just that one hour. So, yes, the daily method of operation works. But when you're even more intentional with that timer and you focus, you're going to run out of people to think about. And that's where the, the hard work comes in because your first week is going to be easy. But once you keep doing it every day, you're going to have to come up with a list of people that you're going to approach during that prospecting, during those booking those parties or talking about the opportunity or even asking people for referrals. You're going to run out of people to ask. So you got to make new friends, right? And during that connecting, you can start adding new friends to your network as well and connecting with them. So hopefully for you to be able to get this document, all you have to do is comment with the word power hour and you will get that document sent to your inbox. If you do not get it, just go to letsflourishtogether.com and you will go um, into where all of our systems are. We have a launching strong system, which is for new consultants. Uh, we have several things in there that can help in English and Spanish. So hopefully today we have helped you. And I hope that many of you are going to start doing the Power Hour. And if you are my team member, please join our Power Hour at 9 a.m. We also have a 10 a.m. Uh, in the morning. We also have a 5 p.m. And I also know that there's somebody doing a Power Hour in Spanish at 8.30 p.m. tonight. So we're all split in different times. But for me, I find it faster and easier for me to get it done in the mornings because it's just like a workout I don't want to work out early in the morning so I it's a sacrifice I have to make but I'm gonna do it and so I just roll out and then just get it done and once I get it done you feel so accomplished just like when you go work out and you don't want to but then you get it done and you're like oh yes I got this you know it's the same thing okay so we have to work out our muscles here in paparazzi <laughs> So any questions that you guys, we got, we have about five minutes to take a few questions. Thank you so much, Erica, for being here and for sharing your testimony and just for being transparent and, and for being a friend to do this with me. So, all right. I see lots of power hour. Can you give us the link again? It's just power hour. The link is just scrolling right there. Let's flourish together.com. Um, thank you, Sharon. So any questions, we're going to take questions right now. If you guys can ask us, we will have five minutes, five minutes. I can't wait for you to tell me, Erica. Oh my gosh, Andrea, I had somebody join my team or blah, blah, blah. I'm <laughs> in January or, you know, I'm so excited you're joining us. We'll have, I, uh, we'll have access to scripting, and that's the document that we have, and you can create your own scripts. Oh, I personally like to um, I personally like to send voice messages. It makes it quicker. It makes it more personal, and I just love sending voice messages. It does. How can you sell uh, during COVID? <laughs> How can I sell during COVID? Oh, people are buying during COVID. I can sell. People are shopping Amazon. People are shopping online. So I'm not doing anything wrong. I'm still working my business. This is my business. I believe more people are making more money now with these days because we are able to work from home. People that are doing TikToks, they're becoming famous and they're having 100 to 200 orders a day just because they're promoting their business on social media and they're working their business during COVID. Uh, so I don't see anything wrong with that. You know, people are going to spend their money where they want to spend their money. I'm not doing anything wrong with that. So how can I work? I just work. I work my entire life. So I'm just working. How can uh, you increase sales during COVID? I go live too. And I, that's how you're going to increase your sales because you're going to connect with people intentionally. So what happens? Let's just say an example. This is something I had to tell somebody today. Let's just say Erica. She's my friend. Um, you know, and she became my friend 10 years ago and Erica at the beginning, she was buying from me, but then she stopped and then she stopped seeing my post. She stopped seeing everything, you know, and then I go and I give, I send her a car. I send her a car for her birthday. I send her a car for her anniversary. And I remember dates that I feel like are very important to her. I check out her profile. I keep up with what she is doing because I'm networking with her. I check on her. Hey, how's your son? 
why do you think Erica, what do you think Erica is going to do? She's going to be like, how can I re return the love that she's giving me? How can I return the love that she's giving me? Well, she's going to know that I sell jewelry. And so she's going to want to support me sometime. So people are going to buy from you if they receive value and love from you. But if you're not giving them anything, why would they want to buy from you? Why would right. they want to even follow you? Right. right? You know, I have people that buy from me and I am so thankful for them because we have built a friendship and I send them goodies. I send them a card. I send them birthday cards because I remember their birthday. I send them gifts just because, because I remember that they're there for me. So why wouldn't they want to buy from me when I'm giving them value, when I'm giving them love, when I'm checking on them, you know, who, which consultant has been for that? You know, there's this lady, um, uh, she has bought from several consultants and she has even thought about joining and she's going through so much right now uh, with her dad, you know, and her brother, you know, they're sick, they have cancer and just a lot going on in her life. And I bet you I was the only consultant that she follow that sent her a car and just say, I'm praying for you and I'm praying for your dad and I'm praying for your brother. I know that this is hard. I'm the only consultant that might have sent her a voice message saying, I'm praying for you today. I hope you're doing better. Um, you know, if you need anything, just call me. You know, I bet you because of that, because I'm being intentional with my relationships with people. So, um, you know, hopefully that helps. But why would people want to buy from you if you're not giving anything in return for them to buy from you? Does that even make sense? Do you have some to add to that? It Eric. makes absolute sense. I bought something two weeks ago from a different company and I follow hundreds of them when they have a right. new Oh, my timeline blows up in their company color. And this person was the only person who actually cared about me when I was going through my mm -hmm. mental health struggles. And she reached out to me and said, don't answer. I don't need you to answer. I need you to know I love and care about you. And when I was ready to shop, because it took me months and this is a, costly purchase she was the one who came to mind she just sent me love and that was all it was that was our only exchange just to say you're not alone if you need me reach out i know you can't i'll check on you when i when i can and when it came time for me to drop a lot of money i chose her yep and that was it and so we i've seen a few customers here people commenting on here well my customers can't buy that is okay covid right. is COVID is happening. The economy is what it is. We don't only make connections based on money. And if that is your only connection with somebody, you need to upgrade it. I'm going to yep. be really real here and I'm going to step all over your toes and know that I love y'all, but you need to hear this. If you're only liking someone based on the amount of money they spend with you, you need to upgrade yourself, not your people. You need to upgrade yourself. You need to just love people where they are. Just love people how they are, love where they are right now, because yes, the economy is scary and we don't know what's going to happen in November. And we just have to be okay with where people are and continuing to love them and not see them as dollar signs. I hate it when I'm seen as a dollar sign and I never want to see someone else has one. Yep. And not only that, you know, people, I have customers that, that can't buy from me either. But I still send them a gift and you're like, well, Andrea, you're, you're like, you have plenty of money to send gifts. And well, I do have plenty of hostess rewards because I, you know, I'm goal and above get double hostess rewards. So I do give a lot of jewelry away, but it doesn't have to be jewelry. You don't have to give them jewelry. You can just send them a card. Thank you for supporting me all my life. Thank you so much for being there on my live video. That means so much to me. You know, that can be that I, I had somebody in here. She was saying, I think she was one of my team members. She was like, Andrea, I get so caught up on responding back to people during the power hour. How can I do this? You can't respond. I can't. Don't you think it drives us nuts? <laughs> it drives me nuts. I'm like, I just made it. She said, yeah, she wants to do a referral. I have to tell her, like, here's how it works. Yeah. You know, it's the hardest thing, but that's how you create boundaries. You want to become a leader, you're going to have to have boundaries. So, yes, it is hard to respond, but do not respond because then we get on the, the then we don't get to connect with as many people as we could. We could have lost. We get lost in the messages. Yes. Yeah. Don't, don't be like Eric and I. <laughs> no, no, no. We need to do it. Uh, love some customers because they follow up with them. 
that's okay. That's what the follow up period is for. Exactly. Right? And in Angelica she says, since I started, I lost some customers because they were watching their money. Exactly. So just say, you know, I mean, they don't have to buy. With right. them just showing up, that shows right. the support. So let them know that it's okay if they come and play games. You are the one that's making their life happier. You know, some of you get mad because people just come and play games and they don't buy and all they get is a free jewelry. I'm like, that's their only happiness, you guys. They may be depressed right now and you're making a difference in their lives. Yeah, but Andrea, but I have to make money too. That's okay. You're going to make money as you're connecting with more people. But it's all about people. I have this lady and, and I hope that she's not watching this. But she has thought about becoming a consultant. And, and I'm like, don't join, don't join. But then I'm like, okay, sure, join, join. You know, but she has always been the one that just comes through the games and, and she wants to win. And I'm like, oh my goodness. And then I'm like, Andrea, look at it a different way. So now she, that she has money a little bit sometimes, you know, sometimes I have to wait for her to get her social security money. And I wait for her because that's, you know, that's somebody at the, that buys for me and then I'm the only one maybe that lets her do that so you know she comes to all of my shows she's always there and she's always every single month shopping for me and then I'm like hey girl do you want me to just do a party for you and sometimes hostesses they do a horrible job okay even though I coach them <laughs> but at the end of the day I'm like I'm just still gonna give them 10 free pieces like they need jewelry let's just give away free jewelry and you know, uh, but those that are trying, not those that don't do anything, though. So, yes, be intentional. That's the one thing I need to do. Follow up with my customers. Yes, how many of you follow up if their order is correct? I had a consultant say, "Oh my goodness, during the follow up, girl, you know, I messed up, and you know, somebody was missing their order, and I was able to catch it because I follow up with them, and then I was able to ease their thought because you know, post office being so slow now." Like it's being so slow. Yes, quality customer service is very important, and that's what we are doing. So if you build, if we, if you build relationships, they might buy things to they get better. Yes. All right. Any other questions? Have you seen any other questions in there? No, but one thing we didn't talk about was personal versus business page. Hmm. I don't know how you do yours, but this is just the way I'm doing mine. One second. One second. Yes. <laughs> the princess needed out um if anyone watches my live it's the big dog she's a princess <laughs> i'm switching days because i can't do both pages at one time it's too confusing i get too busy so one day i'll do all my personal page the next day i'll do all my business page the next day i'll do my personal page and i don't know if that's right or wrong but it's just what works for me so how do you do yours because we're going to get that question if we haven't already Okay, about following up with our customers on the business page and on our personal profile. I do a lot of, I use a lot of my business page because mm -hmm. I get messages from my customers there. Okay. But then I also check a lot of, I have a chat, my VIP chat. Mm -hmm. And a lot of you hate chats, but I'm actually loving it because I have rules and I kick people out if they mess up with the rules. Uh, you know, but I check with them. Like I go and I click on their profile to make sure I'm interacting with them. But I also do it on my business page. So I do a lot on my business page one day. And then the other day I do my personal profile. So you so kind of like, switch back and forth too. Yeah. Because I got to Yep. It's too much. It is a lot. <laughs> but I have all of my customers as friends too. So. Yeah. Me too. So that helps. So. But yeah. Just in case anyone had that question. I need to start doing some. So, all right. All right. All right, you guys. I'm excited. Thank you so much for being here. How do I get over the lag on Facebook Live? Is there a better system? Tracy, no. It's just, just the way it is. Just the way it is. There's a lag. Now, if you were to do it on YouTube, it's really, really quick. Like, there is no lag on YouTube. It's really awesome. But, you know. I love using business page to answer messages because it keeps in order. Absolutely, Elisa. I do the same thing. Yeah, I tell my customers, please message me to the business page. But I will tell you something really quick and we'll be done. I am awful. I am awful, awful, awful at my inbox, my personal inbox. 
you know, nobody told me what I needed to do. Nobody told me I needed a schedule. Nobody told me I needed to be organized. You know, nobody tells me nothing. And so I happened to learn on my own. And you guys, since I started the Power Hour in September, I had to go back to 2017 or 16 messages that were old. Do you know how many people I've missed because I didn't answer their message? A lot. And yeah, a lot. And I even miss a prospect back in January this year. But guess what? I follow up with her and I said, listen, I am awful at this. I'm getting better. I'm getting better. I'm better. <laughs> like, I don't have any unread messages on my text messages as of today. Before you would have met me two months ago, it was like 100. Okay. <laughs> but I said, listen, yeah. But if you have if you have joined somebody, I would like to know if you need any help. You know, we have resources. But if you haven't. Do you, have you thought about doing it again? You know, and she was like, oh, girl, I haven't joined because I wanted to join with you. And so I was just waiting. And I'm like, oh, my God. So she oh. joined. Yeah. So that is crazy. crazy. Oh, that is awesome. Yeah, so anyway, well, thank you guys so much for joining us. And we will see what was the one way you get a lot of sales during the power hour, connecting with people. That's it. You're going to get more. You know, it's stupid to some of you. You're like, oh, come on, please. That's the answer. Uh, yeah, that's the answer. <laughs> Keep it simple. A, there was a post earlier about someone saying, how do I get to elite? I get generic answers. This is it. Yep. We, we as elite, we're just star consultants who kept showing up, who pushed through yep. when it was hard. Yep. You've been here eight years. I've been here seven years. I'm doing the same things I was doing seven years ago. Yep. Buying jewelry, selling jewelry, growing a team, teaching a team. Like that's easy. That's why we like paparazzi. We tell people the, how easy it is. Yeah, and that way you're not going to feel like you're not doing anything. You know, I find my value in the things that I do because I feel productive. And me doing the power hour for my business makes me a better consultant. And and now we, we have created, we haven't launched it yet, but we have created a leadership power hour where I just focus one hour doing the things that I'm supposed to do with my team. And that doesn't count training, okay? And now I feel like, you know, guess what? I'm a I'm a good leader. I'm a good enough leader. So I'm just going to keep showing up, doing the things that I'm supposed to be doing. And you feel better. You feel productive. You feel better with yourself. So hopefully, you guys, we have helped you today. Thank you so much. And if you need the document, you can also go to the, the website here. Uh, but if you just type in power hour, you will get the document. So thank you so much, Erica. Thank you guys so much for being here and we will see you. How do you do power hour when you still work a full-time job? Suzanne, you just need one hour a day. I have worked with people doing their schedule where they work from eight to 5 PM. Yes, they're tired, but she can do a seven to eight power hour and she does it every day. Maybe some days you're going to have to do one day. Yes. One day. No, when you, you know, one, one day. Yes. And one day. No. And as long as you get it done, you know, that's all that matters. You will see results within the first day. So we'll see you guys later. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye.